Hey guys, putting a hitch in your Honda Accord can take you to some really fun places, like camping and biking, or towing a U-Haul trailer. Let's break down the installation process. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. Our first step is to lower the exhaust by detaching five rubber hangers. There's two located on the driver's side, two located on the passenger side, and one located in the middle of the vehicle. Before we lower the exhaust, we wanna make sure that we secure it with a strap so it doesn't fall. So now we're gonna take the strap and bring it above the cross member, under the exhaust, and secure it. Now we're gonna remove the rubber hangers. So with the exhaust lowered, we're now going to remove the muffler on the driver's side using a 14 millimeter socket. Our next step is to remove one bolt on the heat shield. With our bolt removed, we're now going to measure five inches from the edge of the heat shield forward and mark it. Now that we have our mark, we're going to use an inch and a quarter hole saw to drill a hole through the heat shield. As you can see, the hole we made in the heat shield lines up with the hole in the frame where we'll be installing our hitch. And now we'll repeat on the passenger side. Using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack, we're now going to line up the two front holes on the hitch to the holes we just drilled. Our next step, once the hitch is aligned, is to mark the two rear holes on the hitch so we can know where to drill into the frame. With our holes marked, we're just going to go ahead and remove the hitch. Now that we have our marks, we're just going to use a half inch drill bit and drill the holes. And now we'll repeat on the passenger side. With our holes drilled, we now need to enlarge them to fit the block and the bolt using our stippet. And now we'll repeat on the passenger side. Back on the driver's side, we'll be using two carriage bolts, a longer bolt and a shorter bolt. The shorter bolt will be going in the hole with the heat shield. Using a reverse fish wire technique, we're going to put the shorter bolt into the hole with the heat shield. We'll be using the same fish wire method, now with the longer bolt. And now we'll repeat on the passenger side. So now we're just gonna bring our hitch back into place and line it up with the holes in the fish wires.
With everything lined up, now let's remove our fish wire and install our provided flange nuts. Now we're just going to tighten and torque our bolts to the vehicle manufacturer specifications using an 18 millimeter socket. And now we'll repeat on the passenger side. With our hitch installed, let's go ahead and put the exhaust back together. With the hitch installed, let's go over some important measurements. This is an inch and a quarter receiver hitch. From the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is four inches. From the ground to the top of the receiver is 12 inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories, such as a bike rack or cargo carrier. Thanks for watching. That wraps up this video. Have fun and I'll see you out there. If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch professional, visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or visit us at uhaulhitches.com.